Greetings, folks. Okay, we've got a few more uh, questions. Okay, I started experiencing something I would describe as contrarian chi. It feels like a deeper level beyond thickening and thinning. Okay, so this uh, this thickening and thinning is uh, when you begin vital breathing. There's a uh, uh, a magnetic fluidic quality and as you move the hands in and out it'll it'll go between having a thick magnetic density to a thin magnetic density and this thickening and thinning is your sort of your basic introduction to uh, to vital breathing <coughs> okay so contrarian when you start releasing time the, the, the feeling quality of the energy will go through layers. Initially, it, it becomes very, very thick and dense and slow. Then as the mind drops between the qualitative and quantitative states of the energy, you'll begin to have more mental experiences of the energy, uh, of the information within the energy. So you get f flashes of visions. Um, clairvoyant insights about the energy you're working with, the history of the place you're, you're in. Um, let's say you vital breathe into someone's keys, you'll, you'll feel their energy that is in the keys and you'll start getting flashes of the information. So we go from this thickening and thinning of the vital energy uh, in its quantitative form and then we go to the information underlying it, what information it it is attached to and growing upon and you have a psychometry experience with that in order to have that experience you need to go through a few changes you need to release time and open up the space or unpack it or dissolve the matrixes by opening it so that you can move into that information field and that's what psychics basically experience so do you recognize somehow from any form yeah that's I do recognize that okay does this concept below that resonate with me since contrarian chi make any sense with your related practice? So yes, it does. Okay, so I wrote earlier. Okay, syndifionosis, coined by Chris Langdon. Okay, you guys can research that if you're interested. So there's difference in sameness. Okay, uh, self dual. Okay, any other questions? Okay, I think that. Um, yeah, thanks for sharing that that, that information. Yeah, so, so to, to sort of answer your question in a little bit more depth, if we look at a vibrational scale of development with Qigong, people start off with a life force. So they, you focus the breath, gently stretch the joints open in a space outside the body, usually in the ball between the hands. The spirit senses become active. You feel this magnetic fluid quality. The energy thickens and thins as you move your hands in and out. There's a distinct quality of, of magnetism to it. Then as you release time, that energy thickens. So you just slow the energy down as you feel the edges of that space and release. Then you start moving into the information field that's contained into it. And you start having, you basically start applying psychometry, your psychability skills. So everyone's experiences are gonna be unique. If you stand in a different place and practice, you're going to release different information, the energy is going to feel different, and you, that, that's the basic door everybody steps through. Okay, Tim, I hope this helps with your question, and um, uh, see everyone on the, on the next video.